So today I'm going to show you a minor upgrade we're going to do to the Gator. Um, one of the issues is that when you have a snow plow on the front of this thing like I do, you're using the winch which draws current from the battery. I also have a bunch of lights, so when you're running all of it, it's not hard for your battery to run out of juice. The alternator doesn't really keep up unless you're running the engine at high RPMs, but the problem is there's no like voltmeter, so we're going to add one. Now here on the dash, there's an existing 12 volt uh, accessory plug. Uh, some people also just know it as a cigarette lighter plug. And I could either take that out and put something in its place, or I could potentially add a hole here and add something else. And I think that's what I'm going to do. So what I got is this product here. I got it off of Amazon, which I'll show you in the link below in the description. You can check it out. It's really a low price option for adding one of these. What this does is this is going to give me a USB quick charge port, and it's also got a voltmeter. Now, this is a weatherproof cover on here, but when you open it up, you see your USB port, and you also see there's a digital display there. The cover here is actually translucent, so when the voltmeter is on and has power to it, you can actually read the LED uh, numbers through the cover. So I think that's what we're going to do. Let me show you what we have to do to do this and get it installed. All right, so we need to find the wires that we're going to use to hook up this gauge. Um, what we need to do is take this cover off. First, let me get some stuff out of the way. Now, these actually come off just by gently prying them. On each of the four corners, there's a basically a plastic hanger. So there's the cup holder. Now that this is open, I can get my hand in there and move the pieces of plastic inward that are holding this in place. There we go. Now that this is off of there, if you look on the back of here, this is the plug for the 12 volt accessory plug. You'll notice there's black and yellow. The black is your ground and the yellow is power when the ignition switch is on. I'm just going to end up splicing into those wires and basically run another lead over to the side and use it to hook up the additional uh, gauge that I'm adding. Both of them will be connected using the same wires that are already there. Okay now that I have this open we got a good look in there we can see where everything's at. As I mentioned, I kind of want to put the gauge here, um, but we look on the back of here and we've got these little pegs that st stick out, and that's because they go into these holes. I don't want to go through those pegs, so what we're going to do is make sure that whatever we drill goes in that area. So by putting this up, I'm going to put my hand down below here to, sh to remind myself of where this is. So what this tells me, using my fingers as a marker, it needs to be in this area. This doesn't have to be exact. So what I'm going to do is drill a hole here. I'm going to drill a one inch hole, but I'm going to put this plastic back into place and snap it in there. And that's what's going to hold it there while we do the drilling. I'm just going to put a little mark of where I think the center of the hole should be. Got that there. Snap this back in. All right, so this isn't really the best tool for the job, but it's gonna do the job. This is a one inch speed bore bit. It's really meant for wood, but I'm gonna use it for this. All right, so I, I've got it in to the point where it's really pulling, so I'm just gonna be careful, go slow. It's starting to etch out the circle for the one inch hole. There we go. Now we'll just do a little test fitting. Make sure that uh, this fits. Might have to widen the hole a little bit, I'm not sure. 
Yep, we're gonna have to. Now the proper way to enlarge this is to get a larger drill bit. As I mentioned, this is a one inch. Um, I have a one and a quarter. I don't want to take it up to that size. I'm just gonna use this and kind of wiggle it around a little bit and see if we can get a little closer. All right, so with that off of there, I'm gonna stick this through there, push it through all the way, get it aligned how you want it. Now on the back side, there's a plastic nut that came with this, which that's gonna be used to hold it in place. Just put that on, tighten it down. So we've got everything where we want it. Now we're gonna do the wiring. All right, so I had a little bit of change of plans. Rather than splice into this existing harness, I'm gonna keep it the same. I just built an adapter, which is here, and I'm gonna use this to basically to plug into the OEM plug, and I'll have outputs to both of the uh, items that I need to provide power to. Now these little adapters I made were just kind of quick and dirty. Could have done a little better job, but this is okay. It's gonna serve the purpose. So I'll plug that in. Plug these in. I'm actually going to put some electrical tape around here just to help waterproof it, I guess. Let me go ahead and plug these in. There. And there. Here. And there. Now I'm just going to sit it here for a second. Now, if everything works, when I turn the key on, we should see a voltage reading. Oh yeah, there's a power switch. 13.5, there we go. All right, so I know this doesn't look pretty, but I put tape around the OEM plug and where those connectors are. My goal with that is to help keep moisture out, but also keep the connectors in there. Everything else looking good. I'm just gonna put everything back where we got it. There we go. There you have it. Now after installing this, I'll be more aware of the state of my electrical system and whether I have enough charge to operate all the accessories I'm using. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, this actually does apply to UTVs, ATVs, tractors, uh, automobiles really anything, even uh, marine applications. The principles for what we did is pretty much the same for anything. Um, if you found this video helpful and like this kind of thing, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell so you get notifications when I post new videos. Have a good one.